What's up, cutie gang? It's your girl, Kia Marie, your favorite YouTuber, back with another video. So, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. So, as y'all can see by the title, we're about to make some strawberry brownies. Y'all, this is my first time doing this ever, so I'm not going to do too much talk. I'm just going to let y'all watch the video. I will have all the ingredients, all the things, the measurement, all of that will be in the description. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay, y'all, so now you just blend the ingredients. So let me tell y'all this. You're going to think you're doing it wrong because this is so freaking thick, y'all. Like, it was thick. I thought I was doing it wrong. The first time I did it, I went by the uh, the box. But since you're making brownies, you can't go by the box. I'm telling you now, it's not wrong. It's super duper thick and it's hard to spread. But just trust me. Just do the recipe like I'm showing you and it's going to come out perfect. Okay, now, girl, now you got to put a little bit of muscle up in this. Like, y'all see how thick it is? It's super thick. So, I got my little flat pan, my little flat spoon, spatula, whatever you want to call it, girl. Get that. And you're just going to have to spread it out the best way that you can. Because, like I said, it's going to get real messy. But, you see, it's like a lot of thick bubble gum. But, it, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. Alright y'all, so now while the brownies are baking, we're about to make our um, glaze. So, you need a cup of powdered sugar and three tablespoons of milk. Sweet and simple y'all, sweet and simple. So, just stir it up, do your little thing, and just wait until your brownies get done baking. So, you know, put a little glaze. Like, this is the same glaze that you can use for a donut. It came out really good, it was sweet enough, and all of that. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, now that they done, I let them cook for 25 minutes. Next time, I think I would do 20 minutes just because I like my stuff soft. But now I'm just poking the holes in there. So once I put the glaze on there, it'll like seep through all of the little holes so it can be super gooey and whatnot. You know, real soft because we don't want no dry brownie. So I'm just putting on the first coat just to coat it and let it seep through real good. And then I'm going to let it sit for like five minutes and then coat it again, y'all. This was so freaking good. Like not everybody wants some more, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, y'all, so now after I let it sit, I'm just going through with the rest of my icing or glaze or whatever you want to call it. Y'all, just, let's just be real. It looked like a brain a little bit. I said, I like this like a little brain, but y'all, it was really good. Next time, I will do like a full um, sheet, like a full cake pan of it. So I will have to double my ingredients in two boxes and all of that. Y'all, look at it. It just looks so freaking good and to me the best time is to eat it is like now like why it's still hot so we're just gonna cut it and let y'all like get all up in my business to see what it's looking like real soft and gooey Ooh.